Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech Control. Meet the SR-71 Blackbird, a look at the fastest plane ever built in the world. There are some planes that are literally out of this world. These planes can fly on the edge of space and reach speeds others can only dream of. Today we're going to look at the real-life planes that inspired the breathless opening scene of Top Gun. Maverick. The retired SR-71 Blackbird and the exciting prospect of the SR-72 Darkstar. Before the SR-71 became the most advanced and recognizable plane in the world, when it first flew in the 60s, there was another similar military aircraft, the Lockheed U-2 subsonic high-altitude reconnaissance plane, which first flew in 1955. It was built as a spy plane to gather information about the Soviets, but Russian advancements in radar and missile fields rendered the U-2 unfit for that purpose. This was proven when Francis Gary Powers was shot down flying one in 1960. The U.S. Air Force needed something that could literally go under the radar and fly extremely fast. The requirements for this new aircraft were clear. A cruising speed well over Max 3, a cruising altitude over 80,000 feet, and a very low radar signature over a wide band of frequencies. Additionally, electronic countermeasures, advanced communications gear, and at least two engines for safety reasons were needed. These specifications created massive challenges, particularly with the wildly changing temperatures the plane would have to endure. This ruled out aluminum as a basic construction material, so various alloys of titanium and stainless steel were used for the shell. Additionally, high-temperature plastics, new hydraulic fluid, greases, electric wiring, and plugs had to be developed to prevent the plane from burning up. Cooling the cockpit was also a challenge. The design team needed to solve several issues, including burying the retraction wells of the landing gear in the fuselage fuel tanks to prevent the rubber tires from overheating. Twelve proposals were presented to the Air Force, and the twelfth was approved for the prototype phase. In 1960, 12 aircraft were produced. A year later, a strategic reconnaissance bomber version of the plane, known as the IF-12A, was greenlit, despite significant opposition from parts of the Air Force that wanted to work on the B-70 program. Testing continued, and in December 1962, Lockheed was contracted to build the first group of six SR-71s. The first IF-12 a prototype flew in August of the following year. The program faced significant problems, including issues with the alloy used to build the plane and the bespoke fuel needed for temperature changes. The engines also suck up objects on the runways, and the sonic boom caused by the plane scared animals and smashed windows. In 